Okay, so we are finally back with more soap. We are starting on soap season four. This is going to be episode one. So in the last episode ended, um, Jessica died and Mary went into labor. Eunice and Corinne are fighting over Dutch. Jody is in court fighting for custody of his daughter. And... Oh, God, I can't remember what's going on with Fuckhead. So, <laughs> we're just going to jump straight into it. Last episode of Soap, Leslie was undecided about killing herself, so she decided to kill Billy instead. Dutch has finally decided to decide between Eunice and Corinne. When Bert and Danny decided to stand up to Tibbs, Tibbs decided to have them knocked out. The judge said she would decide on whether Jody or Carol receives custody of Wendy. Now that Mary's baby has decided to appear, will it also be able to disappear? Or will it be as normal as everyone else in the family? And what have the fates decided for Jessica? Confused? You won't be after this episode of So. You no, know, it'd be weird if, since Jessica just died right around the same time that Mary went into labor, if Jessica's soul was in Mary's baby. But I don't think Jessica's actually dead, so I don't think that's what's going to happen. This is the story of two sisters, Jessica Tate and Mary Campbell. These are the Tates. Hold on a second, the building seems to be collapsing. Okay, sorry about that. There's a dog upstairs that gets a little rambunctious and it pounds. It, I mean, it's, it's probably just regularly playing, but because it's right above me, it feels like the entire room is shaking sometimes. And these are the camels. And this is so. the emergency team. She's the worst day of my life. Oh my God, she's dead. She died right here. Death right in front of me. I can't stand it. I just can't stand it. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, man. Not. 
Now you win some, you lose some. They should have had a good fellow start his Both of those men were moved from the road. I wouldn't start his car, much less his heart. You're a doctor, for God's sake. Give him a cardiac pump and revive him. <laughs> Are you crazy? What's happened here? You were shocked. Shocked. I'm appalled. <laughs> One doctor is feeling up my wife, another doctor is beating up her husband. You swine. Doctor, I want nurses around the clock and specialists. The best, I don't care how much they cost. She has the best, Malou. Malou, for me, I have a terrific headache. <laughs> me too. Oh, well, I don't. Is that it? Yes, I'm nine. Me too. Me too. Room 402, bring up a chair. Okay, gentlemen, everything is fine, so would you all please get out? Let her get some rest. I am her husband. I am staying right here, right till the end. I agree with Tate. I'm staying too. And I. Who is the person with the head injury? I am. I am. It's, it's not you. It's not I. I'm your father. I'm a psychiatrist. Tate. <laughs> Sorry. I'm acting like a child. Sorry. Doctor, is she going to make it? It's possible, but it may not be the best thing if she dies. Her brain was denied a lot of oxygen, Tate. The damage could be irreversible. Well, she was only dead for a couple of seconds, wasn't she? I mean, I've been dead for a couple of seconds. A couple of times. That's unfortunate. So that's some guy dressed up like a doctor. Good, I thought it was really sick. <laughs> what channel is this? What is this show? And a dwarf. I forgot to count that dwarf. <laughs> Boy, Roman Lear really did change television. <laughs> this is the television. Danny, Danny. This is closed circuit. Come on, we gotta get out of here. For a black man. You think we had a good time? It must have been. We were the last ones to leave. Are you sure we can't get this on our TV at home? No, no, no. Come on, come on. Yeah, get dressed. Hey, Bert. This is a dress. It's all we got. Oh, well, you got pants. These are not pants. These are kulaks. I love that Bert knows the difference. You want the kulats? Take the kulats. Come on, baby. It's not that I want them. I just think I'll look better in them. Well, mine must have been a big girl. What do I wear on top? What do I? Here, come on. Oh, 
Boy, these things are a lot easier to get off than they are on. Facts. I think I should have the dress. You can wear it tomorrow if I don't have a lunch. Oh. in my dream. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there were these girls, see, in this saddle, and, uh... <laughs> well, it was really something. <laughs> what happened was, uh... uh... never mind, uh... You had to be there. I think I was. Come on. Jennifer. Thank you. Any time. Smoking in a hospital. So where is everybody? Bob, just calm down. They'll be here. It's crazy to me that at one time it actually was okay to smoke in hospitals. It's crazier to me that I existed during a time period when it was okay to smoke in restaurants. I can remember going to like Quincy's and there was a smoking section and a non-smoking section as if the smoke paid attention to boundaries. She had a baby. Where's the baby? She had a husband. Where's the husband? Where's the doctor? Where's Danny? Where's my chicken salad on rye? Look, Danny and Bert are probably out working on a case. Yeah, although granddad. <laughs> you just keep it down. You're going to wake her up. Well, come on. A stampede couldn't wake her up. <laughs> Look at her. She's sleeping so peacefully. <laughs> and I'm a nervous wreck. I was up all night this and I got shin splints. Shout, would you keep him quiet? Would you, you guys don't have any time for me, Annie? First he tried to tickle away our little... Bob. Uh, uh, our little... Bob. Uh, our little... Shout. Get him a sedative. Good idea. And uh, get some for yourself. Yeah. Thirsty. Did I? You did. Congratulations. What color is it? <laughs> wow, is there something you'd like to tell us? We're not sure yet. That's not usually the first question. <laughs> That's not usually the twelfth question. <laughs> is he a he? A she? Mom, we don't know yet. <gasps> Go get the nurse and tell her that mom's awake, okay? Okay. Come on, Bob. <laughs> How come you always saying, come on, Bob? Where would I go? <laughs> How you feeling? Lighter. <laughs> oh, Judy, I'm so scared. <gasps> Mom, there's nothing to worry about. No matter what the baby is, you'll love it. We'll all love it. And that baby will grow up and never realize he's different. When he starts flying around the room, he's going to run some muscles. <laughs> He'll belong. No, because we'll love him. We'll all love him. And you'll see, he'll be normal. He'll be a pink, little, bright, pudgy little... Mrs. Sh- Campbell, congratulations. You have a son. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, well, where is he? Can I see him? Is he all right? Oh, he's fine. He's a healthy nine-pound baby boy. Oh, thank God. See, what nine I tell you? I'd to keep him in a nursery a tiny bit longer. We're just a little concerned about his color. <laughs> Nine pounds. That is a chunky baby. Poor Mary. I mean, she's had a couple of kids before, so she's a little more prepared, but 
Nine pounds. Okay, time's up on that goodbye letter to your father. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm in the middle of a sentence. Well, hurry up and finish it. How could I think under pressure like this? You're just stalling, Billy. Well, naturally I'm stalling. Anytime someone points a gun at me, I tend to stall. Okay, that's a <laughs> Just one more P.S. No more P.S.'s. One last request? No more last requests. I've already let you say your prayers. I let you have ten minutes of meditation, and I let you have two cups of Ovaltine. tea. <laughs> You've taken advantage of my good nature long enough. Leslie, think. You don't want to do this. If you wanted to shoot me, you would have done it by now. Oh, don't kid yourself. My only reason for delaying is so that I can watch you squirm. Now that you've squirmed... Oh, no, I've got a lot of squirming left in me. Really, the best is yet to come. Goodbye, Billy. Give me that gun, Private. <laughs> Very odd choice for a combat weapon. <laughs> oh, Grandpa. Well, everything's screwy since they let women into the army. <laughs> Clean that barrel or it's KP. Grandpa. Well, I should have been tougher on her, but... Those are some gams. <laughs> Grandpa, Grandpa, don't leave me. I know. Really? Leslie, I tell you what, why don't we put this over until tomorrow? Why don't we sleep on it? Stop trying to reason with me, Billy. I really want to do this. You don't mean the chair? Three years tops. Then I'll write a book about it. And Meryl Streep will star in the movie version. <laughs> this is beginning to sound like a better idea all the time. <laughs> Goodbye, Billy. Oh. Who'd she shoot? Saunders. Oh. I've reached a point where I can honestly say to myself that nothing that happens in this house could surprise me. <laughs> I was premature. <laughs> Billy, do you think you could manage to drive me to the hospital without getting me killed? We <laughs> barely even know Saunders, and now he's been shot in the head. Ma, uh, he's fine. The baby's fine. But the color, she said the color. Jaundice. He's just a little jaundice. It's very common. He's normal. My, you have a normal baby. He's not silver? <laughs> no, actually, he's kind of golden. Oh, God, golden. <laughs> One of my nieces was jaundice. They put, you, they put the baby under this light that fixes it somehow. I don't know if that's what they did back then, but that's what they do now. From the jaundice. See? He's normal. I told the nurse you were worried and she's gonna bring him in. He's normal? He's beautiful, Ma. Here we are. Baby boy Campbell. We're gonna get to see him? Oh, thank God he's white. <laughs> <laughs> that poor nurse. I know what you're thinking, but that's uh, not what she means. No. She meant, thank God he's not silver. <laughs> sure. Maybe yeah, because she thought she was going to have a silver baby. Is that a fact? Oh, yeah, really. I thought that the father was silver. <laughs> I see. And who was that? R2D2? <laughs> Oh, Lord. That comes with three stages. What do you mean, what am I doing? Didn't you send any signal, you idiot? I had to right away. Look at the bar right away. The vehicle on the right always has the right away. It's common knowledge. At a full stop sign. You have the right away at a full stop sign. We're at a door. <laughs> Bus switch, you cut me off. I did not. You didn't turn your face off. Please. Oh, I'm sorry, man, but he's... I don't think the rules of the road apply to wheelchairs in a hallway. <laughs> what happened? Huh? The wheelchairs, your heads. Oh, that? That's, this is no big deal, man. It's no, I no. It's, we were just walking down the street, Danny and I, and we ran into a little minor problem. Yeah. A gorilla. <laughs> Escape from the zoo. A gorilla? 
It's nothing. Forget it. You should have seen him. He <laughs> was gigantic. It's <laughs> we're fine, man. We're really fine. Just a was a Bruce and Toe. It's nothing. He picked me up. I thought he would kill me. If you're talking, somebody will. <laughs> so, man. Of course, it was a good thing that the gorilla picked me up when he did, because that old lion came right around that corner right about then. <laughs> and he attacked the gorilla who was holding me. Shut up. And the gorilla dropped me right then. And? 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 And what? Everything turned out fine. Thank you. <laughs> so, man, what's... Hey. <laughs> Our baby. Baby. Nine pounds of it. Oh, Bert. A baby. Our? You had you? We had. It's here. It's come, it's here. Where? There? What, a baby? A thing? Or what kind? What kind? White. Good. <laughs> Boy, a white boy. I get boy for white boy instead of white boy. Yeah, you've a green girl. I don't care. Came close. <laughs> oh, look. Look at that. That's just a boy. Look at that. Look at it. You want to hold it? Yeah. Come on. You can finish telling me about the gorilla. What gorilla? <laughs> he doesn't break or anything. Tough kid, go ahead. Ah. Oh, look. Oh. I was just about to say they have a tendency to not show the baby on this show. And then I paused it right as they were showing the baby. Oh. Look, it's a baby. Look at him. Look at him. Look at those little hands, those little fingers, little fingernails, little knuckles. <laughs> it's all a miniature. It's like a model train. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> Sorry, this just made me laugh for a completely different reason because I've been having hormonal issues and. <laughs> I instinctively paused when they showed the baby. And it's just like my hormones like knew there was a baby about to happen. Oh, man. We have a baby. Mother, can you hear me? Mother, doctor, is she all right? She's still breathing. That's a good sign, isn't it? It's a wonderful start. You're holding her hand. Look clinical, Buster. Stay away from her. You have no more claim on her. Neither one of you has a claim on her. She was finally finding a little peace with me. Oh, how I hate you. These two are going to kill each other eventually, and I'm for it. Since he's here. Oh, I'm so 
pleased to meet you, Mr. Pasteur. <laughs> Your name is on my milk. <laughs> yes, my mother is a character, isn't she? <laughs> wake up. It's amazing. Her pulse and temperature are normal. She may have fought off the virus. <laughs> but what's wrong, doctor? For a while, there was no oxygen to her brain, which could mean... What? Well, it could mean she'll remain in a coma. For how long? Could be for the rest of her life. But she's not currently in a coma, is she? Or would she be able to speak? I didn't... I mean, she's... She's got to be somewhat conscious to be able to speak. So... That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You can talk in your sleep, but a coma is not sleep. Corinne, mother can't possibly wear that in her hospital bed. It'll give her an incentive to get up and get well. But she can't see it. She's in a coma, stupid. Don't you think I know that? She'll sense it, stupid. Maybe she'll open her eyes for just a second, and this dress will give her the will to live. <laughs> the doctor said she might have brain damage due to oxygen deprivation. Oh, doctors, what do they know? Besides, I don't think Mother's brain needs as much oxygen as other people. <laughs> now help me, we're going to take all her favorite things. Well, if you're going to take that blue dress, I'm going to take this nightgown. It's the most beautiful one she owns. You're nuts. The pink one is the prettiest, and I'm going to take it and the nightgown that matches. You vultures, your mother isn't even dead, and you're grabbing her stuff, you ungrateful bones. <laughs> you cold-hearted, two-faced little witches. You ghouls, leeches, cockroaches. <laughs> We're taking this stuff to Mother in the hospital. Oh, well, forget what I said. <laughs> oh, gee, Eunice. Why, Jessica, huh? I mean, why her? We still don't have an answer to that, Dutch. She's going to come out of it, Dutch. She just has to. <sighs> Thank God you're both here. <laughs> I probably would have cracked up a long time ago <laughs> if I didn't have the two of you to... Uh, so who's taking care of Timmy while all of this is going on? Because we know Wendy is with Carol, but where is Timmy at? He can't be with Tim. Tim's run off. And Tim's mom's enough dead. Enough is enough, Dutch. Can't keep hanging on to both of us. I agree. Dutch, you've had plenty of time to figure out which one of us you really want. Okay, okay, you forced me to tell you my decision, and I made one. It wasn't easy. I went through a lot of pain and anguish and prayers to the Almighty for help. And finally, it came to me. My decision. I can't win. <laughs> That's your decision? I thought you said you decided. I decided how, not who. Pick a card. Sorry, I gotta pause it till the argument in the hallway clears up. Okay, they're not, but they're not moving on, and I can't stay paused forever. So we're just going to push through and hope that it doesn't pick up too much in the background. Lord, you can't pick with a card. I can't decide. Don't you understand that I'll never be able to choose between you unless one of you dies of old age? <laughs> All right, let's go. Wait a minute. Why are you picking first? What difference does it make? Because that gives you the advantage. If you pick first, that's one less card for me to pick from. Then let's draw to see who picks first. Oh, and who's going to pick that card first? <laughs> girls, girls, look, I'll decide who goes first, okay? Any, meeny, Besides, when it's two people, the one who gets chosen is the one who isn't any. <laughs> I'm Eeny and she's Meanie, then I'm Miney and she's Mo. And when it's two people, Eeny can never be Mo. <laughs> so let's try picking at the same time. Anything to get on with this. I got a ten. A 
Ten? Uh-huh. I got a jack. Oh. That means that, uh, I lost. I'm sorry, Eunice. She didn't show the card. Let me see that. Corinne, that's a three! <laughs> I was bluffing. You bought it. <laughs> this isn't poker, Corinne. You lost. I did? <laughs> So I guess that means that, uh, I won. Oh, oh, but it's nothing personal, Corinne. It's just in the cards. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And it's like that in life, too, Corinne. Sometimes you win, sometimes I win. But in every case, the loser always picked up her head and went right on. I know I did. <laughs> and now I've won. And you've lost. Now I have him. And you have no one. <laughs> now I have a man, and you're alone. Out in the cold, out on a limb, up the creek without a paddle. <laughs> That's how do you feel about this decision? Okay. <laughs> Hey, Eunice, I'd like to say goodbye to Corinne. You want to give us a minute, okay? Oh, okay. Take a minute. <laughs> I mean alone. Oh. Keep a grip on yourself, Corinne. <laughs> well, I guess it's so long, lover, and hello, pal. Hello, pal. I did love you, Dutch. Me too. You. I'll never forget you. Hey, we live in the same house. Well, I, I may be moving soon. Not because of me. No, not only that, it's just that well, I feel it's time I was out on my own. Yeah, I know that feeling. I'm glad you were in my life. Me too. So long, Dutch. Eunice was not the right decision. So long, Eunice is so fucking. I don't believe it. I don't believe it either. Full I, of for itself. one, don't believe it. You believe it? You? It's hard to believe. But I actually think she's pulling through. Doctor, you gotta give it to me straight. I'm her psychiatrist. I can take it. Is there brain damage? There's a good chance. Oh, I don't wanna live anymore! Oh, 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 goodbye, life! Love, suffering, sorrow! No more! Hey, don't take the big leap, that's crazy! Hey, suicide is a misdemeanor. Do you wanna die with a record? I think damn! I think she's coming too. <laughs> Oh, you actually don't. Now, we don't want to do or say anything that will shock or upset. So, how high up are they? What, what floor are they on? That this man actually just fell out the window? That would, that would be a bad thing, right? <laughs> the man is a carp. <laughs> She's trying to open her eyes. Did you see that? <laughs> Let me be the doctor, please. No, but if you think she's going to be impressed with the fact that you pulled her through, just know this. I'm going to fight you every step of the way. You'll have to fight me for a second. This guy's not going to lose for a second hand. He's right. Gentlemen, let's lock our mouths and swallow the key. Dr. Seuss. <laughs> she's coming, too. Yes. <laughs>
No, no, Jess, some of us have had a slight accident. Ah, you okay? Well, I don't know. I was going to ask you that. <laughs> no, you look okay. Oh, that's good enough for me. Come on, Chester, let's go. Call down and ask them to get the bill ready for us, will you? Thank you. Uh, Jess. <laughs> Darling, you can't just leave. We have to watch you for a while. <laughs> see. We missed you, Mom. Oh, I missed you too, darling. How's Leslie? She's fine. And Saunders? Uh, Leslie shot him in the temple. <laughs> I didn't know he was Jewish. <laughs> Hi, Bert. Are you a daddy? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, uh, you know my son, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> She's worse off than I thought. Bert, she means the baby. The baby, yes, the baby. The baby. We had a baby. <gasps> yes, it's a Mary had a dead left baby boy. Oh, Bert, that's wonderful. Oh, yeah, come on, let's go. We'll go get him there and bring the baby back. All right? What are they naming him? Uh, yeah. How are you feeling today, soldier? Well, I'm really a lot better, Daddy. What's happened to you, Colonel? Uh, nothing, Major. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Fine. You're fine. Major, if you don't brave soldiers have been wounded in battle and you're fine, there's nothing the matter with you, Major. You're nothing but a damn coward! <laughs> Get back to the front! <laughs> Never little. Bye, Daddy. I know. Welcome back, Jessica. Thank you. Was I gone long? You were in a coma. Did I come out of it? <laughs> the virus seems to have disappeared. Do you mean you cured me? Well, not really. It, uh, there is no cure. If there's no cure, why is she alive? You see, you were the only person on record who ever had this strain of virus, so we don't know much about it. We're calling it the Jessica Syndrome. Oh, that's nice, Chester. They're naming a horrible disease after me. <laughs> that is nice. A horrible disease. Jessica. You're alive. Well, yes, of course, Mary. If I were dead, I couldn't respond. Hey, Jesse. What? I want you to meet my little brother. Everybody, this is my little brother. Oh. Little brother, this is your family. Oh, let me see you. He's adorable. Hello, darling. Welcome to the world. Isn't he beautiful? Mm. He's gorgeous. Mary, is he, uh, what? Well, you know, I mean... <laughs> Jesse. What, what, that? No, not yet. Uh, we don't know any rabbis. <laughs> I didn't mean that, but I meant he's... He's a normal... Jesse. Normal, normal. Of course he's normal. He's my son. <laughs> Somehow I failed to see the logic in that. <laughs> Too confident, too mellow. 
this thing is over, I'm going to hire someone to kill him. I'm going to give you a straight. All right, I will, Dennis. How does it look? How does what look? Do we have a chance? A chance? Let me tell you something, Dallas. Something you should know. The Red Sea wasn't plotted by a pool pump, savvy? <laughs> when John the Baptist was to be beheaded, he didn't stand a chance. But he made it. Because there's always a chance. Remember that. John the Baptist was beheaded. <laughs> and I hope you'll have the grace never to quote me on that. <laughs> All right. Maybe using the lawyer with the current head injury is not the best. <laughs> What's with the turban, Malou? It's a bandage, Your Honor. I was injured. It's better than that ridiculous rug. <laughs> Thank you. I have a reading out of the palm of my hand. <laughs> Mr. Dallas, I have seen your integrity, fervor, and honesty. I'm impressed by your passion and fortitude. However, it has become apparent to me over these many years that an infant needs the kind of care that could best be given to it by its mother. Miss David, you have shown yourself to be a concerned parent. Thank you. Last night, I decided that your child would be better off with her mother. Oh, thank you, Your Honor. This morning, I received a call from your mother telling me that she had lied on the stand in your behalf. Your Honor, I wanted my daughter so badly I would have done anything to Forcing your own mother to commit perjury using her own grandchild as bait does not lead me to agree that this person has a clear understanding of what parenthood is all about. Mr. Dallas has that understanding. Therefore, I have decided to break with normal tradition and award custody of the infant Wendy to her father, Jody Dallas. Jody won. Sure. <clears throat> Obviously, crime. Sorry. Obviously, it sucks to see a mother lose custody. But fuck Carol. Fuck that fucking lying bitch. I'm so happy Jody won. Your Honor, I realize I've acted irrationally during these proceedings, and I'm sorry. I know it's hard for you to know a person when that person's world is caving in all around him. Because all you get to see is the fear and the craziness. So I thank you for looking beyond that. Good luck, Mr. Dallas. I want you to know there are no hard feelings. Not at all. All right, so long, Malo. So long, Pinhead. <laughs> Listen, Carol, we'll, uh, we'll work out the visitation rights. I won't be any problem. No need. Carol, don't be bitter. Why should I be bitter? This isn't over yet. And when it is over, you're going to wish you never had a daughter. Oh, yeah, because the next trial is going to look great with what happened in this one on the record. Fucking bitch. <laughs> Mary, I've known how for quite some time. <laughs> but aren't you weak? Don't you feel weak? Well, I'm a little weak, but actually I felt a whole lot weaker when I was on the Scarsdale diet. <laughs> oh, yes, How's the baby? I'm fine. You must be so relieved he isn't silver. <laughs> well, yes, I am. <laughs> you know, as a matter of fact, I think a silver baby might have been nice, especially during the holidays. He would have been so festive looking. <laughs> I'm still worried. Alien Bert wasn't silver when I saw him, but he was still an alien. And he could make himself disappear. So even though the baby isn't silver, he could still be an alien. <laughs> the nurse probably has him. Harry. I don't know how to break this to you, but the baby has disappeared. <laughs> They're bathing you. Oh, thank goodness. 
if he can disappear, let's hope he does it between the ages of 14 and 16 when he's so obnoxious. <laughs> Thank you. Mary, I have a message for you. From whom? From Mother. Jesse, Mother's dead. I know. Mary, I haven't discussed this with anybody, but when I died, I went to heaven. It is an incredible place, Mary. But now, when you go, be sure you take electric rollers, because with that mist, you'll have no hairdo. <laughs> anyway, Mary, when I was in heaven, I saw a mother. And she told me to tell you you're wearing too much eyeliner. <laughs> it's never gonna stop. She says it looks cheap. <laughs> Dead. She's still getting to me. She told me to stay with Chester. She said at my age, I couldn't get anybody new. <laughs> and when I die, if I go to heaven, is that gonna be it? That's gonna be eternal paradise, listening to her? Well, Mary, she does have a point. I mean, have you seen the competition these days? I mean, they wear lipstick and roller skates and nothing in between. <laughs> Jesse, that's not competition. Teeny boppers on roller skates? What adult man would be interested in one of them? <laughs> right. When it comes to men, I am the kiss of death. I mean, Chester gets a brain tumor and amnesia. I get involved with Peter, he gets killed. I get involved with the psychiatrist, he goes nuts, jumps out the window. <laughs> I mean, I am the kiss of death, Mary. Oh, Jess, you are not. Even Charlie Graubart, my fourth grade boyfriend. Charlie Graubart. You know where he is? No. On Main Street, he's a wino. <laughs> He sits on Main Street and panhandles. Of course, every time I see him, I give him $10 for coffee. By now, I could claim him as a tax exemption. <laughs> you know, when I thought Bert was having an affair, and he thought he was having an affair, but he really wasn't having an affair, only I didn't know he wasn't having an affair, and I could have gone out and had an affair, I couldn't. The cops. I see. <laughs> The thing is, I don't want to have to tell anybody my thighs used to be better. They did? <laughs> Mine did, too. Much better. And then suddenly, one morning, I woke up with somebody else's thighs. <laughs> mother's. What? Mother's thighs. I've got mother's thighs. <laughs> if you've got mother's thighs, what does mother have? Yes. <laughs> I've got to go now. Now, listen, if anyone says, have you seen me, you haven't. Who would ask? Oh, well, you know, like doctors and nurses. See, they were taking me down to x-ray to have a GI series, but I already had one of those, and it is such an undignified test, Mary. So while they were getting everything ready, I left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off to pediatrics to wave at your baby. Perkins, I can't arrest him. But he didn't rob anybody. Listen to me. A guy puts a gun to his own throat and says to himself, give me your money, that's not robbery. <laughs> no, he's not a felon, he's a psycho. <laughs> All right, Perkins, tell him to arrest himself. <laughs> okay, here's how I see it. We get knocked out in our house. We wake up naked in a motel room. We go to the hospital, and Mom has a baby. What do you think? I see no connection between being naked in a motel and having a baby. Just presenting the facts, Bert, just the facts. <laughs> Tibbs is going to blackmail us. I don't know how, I don't know when, but he's going to do it. Hmm. Do you have any idea how or when? <laughs> it just doesn't add up, Bert. Oh, it doesn't add up, huh? A guy says to us, stay away from my massage parlors or else. Then he knocks us out and takes us to a little uh, party. This is for you. Thank you, Perkins. <laughs> what are you looking at? Perkins, get out of here. <laughs>
The lab reports, huh? How could they be lab reports? We didn't send anything to the lab. I don't even know what a lab is. There's something you could do, Dan. Go find a lab. <laughs> that creep. Perkins, what is he doing? What? My own deputy passing out this kind of sick, filthy, filthy pictures. Are those women? I ought to arrest them. Hey, Bert, look. <laughs> There's a saddle like uh, that one in that motel room where we... We. We. You. You. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, it's us. Oh, Bert, it's us. Can you just calm down? Let's think. Right, right. Thinking is good. Right, let's not lose control. Right, no control loss. Let's just assess what we got. Uh, assessing is also nice. What we got here are some pictures of you and me. Ladies in a motel. Nobody's wearing a whole lot, which is how you know some of us aren't men. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, crap. <laughs> hey, Bert, look. You're wearing a garter belt. <laughs> That's not me. Well, it's not the leg of a lady. Uh, Danny, please, there are like nine legs around here. Only a couple of them are mine. <laughs> hey, what are you saying, Nick? Are you saying it's mine? Is that it? <laughs> it's you. They put you in the garter belt. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Wait, Danny, Danny, wait, wait, wait. There's a note. I hope it doesn't say anything. <laughs> Campbell hit my parlors, and these pictures hit the papers. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> Did he sign it? Is that really necessary? <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do? I don't know. If only we weren't smiling. <laughs> Dutch has chosen units. What will Karen do besides get more sleep? Will Leslie be satisfied with winging Saunders? Or will she try to kill Billy again? Now that Jessica has a horrible disease named after her, will everybody want one? Now that Tibbs has pictures of Danny and Bert with six naked ladies, what will Danny and Bert do when Carol said, I'll make you wish you never had a daughter? Was she just being a bad loser? These questions and many others will be answered on the next episode of Soap. Okay, so we got through the first episode of Season 4 of Soap. I think at this point, Bert's best option is to give the job back to the other guy that didn't want to give it up to begin with. Or did he... Am I remembering correctly that that guy killed himself? Or is this still an option? I'm not even sure anymore. I might have to go back and look that up. <laughs>